Hey, hey, ho, ho, hey. Hey, everyone, my name is Joe, and today I'm going to teach you guys a simple, uh, almost visualizer for you musicians out there who wants to add visuals to your, uh, <laughs> to your music. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make something like this, a light reacting similar to your sound, almost a visualizer, like I said. So to get right into it, we open a new uh, file, don't save, delete default cube, shift A, UV sphere, increase the size, go to materials, add new. If we turn on to our viewport shading, we would see that it is complete darkness, but if we turn, if we change our surface to emissions, we will get this. And we increase the strength to 30 for now. Always remember to keep your ambient occlusion on, bloom on, and screen space reflections and refraction on. Now to change the color, we just simply change the color like that. And there we go. We already have our glowing ball. So what we want to do next is we want to add insert keyframe there. Change this to the graph editor. Click key and big sound to F curves find your audio even though it's a video it'll just extract the audio information to make the F curve and when we play it it's kind of a, it's kind of dim and our highest points would usually just go to 1.64 so we don't want that we want it to be around 30 and make it a little bit brighter but before that we have to go back to the timeline change this change the end frame to 3600 because that was the end of our music go back to the graph editor make sure 3600 and then go to video editing find the folder of your music drag drag and drop see keep your timeline keep your time scroll thing here the beginning delete the visuals for that because we only need the audio so once we have our audio we can check to see if it is in sync and it is in sync with our light ball so what we want to do is we want to go to the end frame here open modifiers click envelope and just increase this and what we want is we want to add point, change that to 30, change that to, I think that's about right, we want to increase it that much, maybe negative 2, or 2, hmm, I have no idea what this does. this or this is just me now playing around with the settings let's do negative one on this or better yet negative two let's have this to ten nah wait Just play around with the settings. What's important is you have. There we go. What's important is you have that endpoint at the end there so that it will very much edit whatever is behind it here. This is also important. This and this. If you guys have any like suggestions of how I can make this better, feel free to put it in the comments so that we can learn together. The only reason why I wanted to make this tutorial is so that uh, people can tell me how I could make it better or something and to share my knowledge. So this is it. That's it. Uh, thank you and goodbye.